Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Ford from TradeWinds.com, and this is our update for July 2nd, 2017. Let's take a quick look at the markets. Well, the first half of the year has come and gone. On Friday, we saw a bit of a mixed close for equities, but for the first half of the year, it's been nothing but gains. It, it, it's been a phenomenal year. Biggest, uh, biggest first half of the year for the NASDAQ since 2009. Let's have a look. The Dow finished higher by 62 points on Friday, while the S&P 500 was up almost four points. The NASDAQ actually dropped by about four points here, and um, the Russell was down slightly as well. Bonds hung in there on Friday, uh, down just 29 cents or so. This one gets a little more interesting as we look at the, the weekly chart here, showing us with this bearish engulfing setup that we may get a bit more of a pullback here before a continuation of that move. But um, uh, I still think uh, this gap, uh, we, we have a real good shot at closing this gap here. Gold on Friday was down $4.40 at the close, while crude finished off an incredible week here. Just a re very strong bounce here and actually closing near its highs on Friday, which was a uh, something unexpected really we're expecting a short signal here it actually blew through this support level here but let's have a look at the longer term charts here on the weekly looks like it, you know it could just be beginning this retracement before uh, it runs into this down sloping 20 and uh, on the monthly chart here it's sitting right on that flat 20 period moving average so this is going to be another important week for crude now also uh what's going to be important this week there's a lot of news um on top this week and it's actually a short week this week so monday is going to be a partial session we will close we the markets will be closing at 1 p.m eastern tuesday of course will be closed completely for the holiday and then uh, we'll have full sessions from Wednesday to Friday. So Monday, news out motor vehicle sales, which are going to be important. Uh, PMI manufacturing, ISM manufacturing, and construction spending, which is another important number to keep your eye on. Uh, Tuesday, markets closed, obviously. Wednesday, MBA mortgage apps, Redbook factory orders, and those FOMC minutes will be released on Wednesday afternoon. That's an important one. Thursday, we get chain store sales, another important one, ADP employment report, which is also important, jobless claims and money supply. And Friday, the most important, the employment situation report and the Baker Hughes rig count. So a lot of big numbers due out this week. We will report on everything as it comes out. Uh, tomorrow evening, there will not be an update due to the holiday on Tuesday, but we will certainly be back Tuesday evening with an update. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you on our next update.